Hey team, Cam here from The Fish Room again, and we're back in the Fishmobile. Today, we're doing another visit to another hobbyist house. Let's do this! Yow! No fish in there, sadly. Well, probably not so sadly. Pretty small. Kev, what have we got in here? First of all, how big is this tank? Uh, it's 350 litres. Okay, so it'll be four foot by two foot? Yeah, it's a strange dimension. I actually built it to fit on the table that we had there, so I really can't remember the exact size. I think it's just under four feet. Uh, these are all my second generation breeding discus. Mm -hmm. uh, there's red rose, some uh, red turks. Is that the red rose there? That's the red rose. Cool. Uh, and some red turks and some blue turks. A lone blue cobalt floating around. Is that the one with a really shiny blue head? Yes. Yeah, I've seen them tucked up behind earlier. There he is there. Okay, and is that all you've got in there? We've got other things other than discus. Um, there are some uh, clown boats in there just to um, sort of mop up any bits of snail that may appear. Yep. And uh, a couple of bristle nose to keep the algae under control. Cool. Just the one breeding pair in there, or is there a couple? There's. Possibly two, but um, one confirmed one. Yep, which yeah. is the ones that are on the eggs at the moment in the left-hand side. Yeah, they've just got some wrigglers. They yep. sort of happen about every two weeks. Um, Crown boats seem to mop them up at night. Haven't really got room to put them in another tank at the moment, mm. which is a bit sad. Cool. Feeding I do, majority of the feed I put for there is uh, a beef heart mix that I make myself. Mm -hmm. With um, shrimp and um, spirulina, krill oil, the beef heart. Yep. And white rooms. Uh, once a week, yep. just to give them a bit of excitement. That's basically my feeding regime, no dry foods at all. Water change twice a week, I do about a third. Yep. Um, so siphon straight out and then tap water straight back in again. Luckily we don't have chlorine here, we have pretty good water, so Excellent. Um, it doesn't affect the, the fish and I don't have to use any chemicals. Everything's good, so it's completely natural. All natural. Excellent, and obviously you've got quite a lot of plants in here. Mm. I, like, I like heavy planting. Excellent. So I can see one, two, three, four, five, six species of plants. What do you got in here? Yeah, there's quite a mixture. I like the sword plants. They look uh, always look nice. Um, easy to prune and pull the leaves off. There's a couple of Madagascan lace, um, some other different types of swords. Uh, the one that I'm really enjoying at the moment is the Hyrophila deformis, which is on the left hand side of the tank there. A lot of people think it's the uh, Indian trim, but yep. it's not, it's a hydrophila. Yep. And of course, the polysperma and the green pine always look nice. And a little bit of angulia. That's at the front there? Yeah, it's not looking too happy at the no. moment. So a bit dark. It's a bit of a prune down and let it shoot up again from the bottom. And you must have a fairly decent filtration set up on something like this. What are you running filter wise? Yeah, I run a, a, a small air stone by the um, heater just to keep the air circulating around that so you yep. don't get cold spots. Um, there's a double sponge filter on one side, and I'm running a, a Sun Sun um, sun filter, power filter. Cool.
All right, so what have we got in this tank? Okay, this tank's a little bit different. I've got some um, beautiful big orange ones there, which I'm sure people will like the look of. Um, and there's also another set of red rose and a set of red turquoise. So is it three breeding pairs? It's three there? breeding pairs in there. Cool, so three proven breeding pairs in here. If you haven't picked up, Kevin breeds discus. And you may be able to see there are some small little fellas just down there, just coming through. There's five, uh, five left of that, that brood. Okay. Um, so has this got the same water change and feeding regime as your other one? Everything gets exactly the same. Okay, and do you do any preventative treatments or anything like that through your aquariums? Uh, the one that was the best of the lot of any, any treatment, I feel, for discus uh, was one called Kusuri. Mm -hmm which you could import from overseas, but MPI and their Infinite Wisdom decided to put it on their ban list. So for the last two years I've been uh, trying to find a local supplier, which I've just found. Fantastic. Which is exactly the same, uh, and it'll be a lot cheaper than Kasseri, so uh, I'll be marketing that shortly. Fantastic. It is. It's, uh, it's the king of aquarium treatment for worms and parasites, mm -hmm. and it's so easy to use and you cannot open. Excellent, we hear that people, there will be a alternative coming up very soon. Uh, so this is obviously an Aqua 1980. Yes. So it's about 215, 215 litres, litres. Yep. yep. Running this original filtration or have you upgraded it? No, it's exactly the same filtration. The only thing I have put in is a sponge filter um, just to keep the circulation of the air cool. through the tank to a bit more circulation. And what have you got plant-wise in there? Plant-wise is a little bit different in there. There's a... Um, Red lotus and a, a unusual lotus at the back, the spearhead one, which is kind of nice. So it's the red lotus at the front left hand side, yeah, beside the crypt glassy, yeah, yeah. And there's some uh, nice uh, hygienes there mm -hmm. of various types, and some Madagascar lace, your standard cream pine, your hygrophila polyspermas, uh, some amberia, and again the hygrophila formas. Okay, so I know you like a heavy planted tank. Why do you like a heavily planted tank over a slightly more empty tank? Um, three three reasons really. One, it gives the discus security. They can be a little bit a little bit flighty, um, and they like the security of plants. So that if one's getting a bit bullied, they can slip off in the corner and hide. Yep. Uh, number two, I just like the look of them. It looks looks natural. It looks it looks nice. It's, it's good a reason as any. And number three, you know, they're good water scrubbers. Yep. You know, they'll clean up. Your, your nitrites and your nitrates and um, yeah, utilize it and keeps your tank water like clean. And so you, you, by having heavily planted tanks, you, you can um, be a little bit more, uh, a little bit more uh, easy with your with your water changes. Yeah. You don't have to be so restricted to times and and uh, ease off a little bit on them. 